Hello, Brent Garvin here with Plan Mecca, here to share with you today how to create a pseudo panoramic from your 3D image. Now, this is typically done on a larger field of view, like for example, a 20 by 17, which you're looking at right here. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't create a pseudo pan from a smaller field of view, like an 8 by 8 or a 10 by 10. Just understand that you won't have the condyles in the uh, pseudo pan and that may or may not be important to you. Um, so let's get started. As you know, when you open up a volume, you are in the Explorer submodule. So we're going to click on our submodule menu here and go down to Panoramic. Now in the Panoramic module, you have your sagittal view, your axial view, and your pseudo pan here. So you have a couple options to make this look good uh, for you. So at, for starters, the software does its best to create the panoramic curve. Um, typically, that's not the case, so you do have a couple options um, available. So you can do what a lot of radiologists will do. They'll uh, create their own panoramic curve. Select this icon here, and it's just a simple pencil. So you just left click, and every time you click, it sets a point. This is a left click, and then when you're done and you're finished, just double click, and that'll uh, finish it up. So you can always hit your little edit points here and uh, move things around and adjust them, especially if you draw a curve or the software draws a curve and it's a little shorter like this and we don't see our condyles. You can grab the end one here and kind of um, create the uh, image a little bit larger there as well. So that's one way you can create your panoramic curve. Um, another way is uh, my preferred method, which is there is an arch here with an A. It's for auto fit. If I click this, the software will automatically create a panoramic curve that they think it's, is, is ideal. So that is a fantastic way to click, one button click, get a good panoramic uh, image. And then the arch here with the F on it is to auto focus it. So I click that, I take a look and see if it's better or worse. You can turn it off if you don't like it, turn it back on it doesn't matter. So um, that's uh, one of the ways you can draw your own panoramic curve. And um, you'll see these lines here. You've got um, different things going on here with your layers and your layer lines. Just so you know, you can turn those off if it's impeding your vision. And that's under your wrench here, which is your default views. Click on that and make sure you're on the panoramic tab and you'll see autofocus uh, layers and line. If you hit the layers, it turns them off, so now we can see a little bit better there. And then the autofocus line, click that, that's gone as well. That's how I set up my default settings um, in Romexis for my uh, panoramic sub-module. So um, I've got the image looking good here. Also, just so you know, if you've got some radiolucency in the synthesis here, um, kind of like pans will show up a lot of times, maybe you need to tilt the actual volume. So just go up to your sagittal view and right click, and then you can rotate this. And so if you want to change the curve of speed, you can certainly do that. It's fully adjustable any way you want. You can move this up, you can move it down. So the condyles are kind of cut off, slide that back down. The other nice thing about that is um, you can um, clear up this here um, in the anteriors. So that is a good thing to know there as well. If for some reason you right click and it does not rotate, just make sure that this has not been unselected. So that's your move rotate volume. So if that is unselected, now I don't have control with the right mouse click. So just make sure that's clicked and now you can make those fine tune adjustments. So now we wanna create our pan so we can take a 2D pan of this. You got some crosshairs in the way. If you want those out of the way, hit your um, turn or show hide annotation um, overlays, turn that off, now they're gone. Now we can take a nice quick shot of that uh, pseudo pan for a 2D image. Another cool thing you can do is if you want to take it to the next level and create a little wow factor is under panoramic here on the right toolbar you've got a render mode. If you click that you've got several different rendering options you can choose. Um, your software probably has MIP which is fantastic. Click on that. It creates a really cool effect. You can adjust um, maybe your brightness here and, and make this look a little bit nicer and that is a pretty cool panoramic view that everyone's starting to use nowadays and if you caught this under the 3D 
um, here I've got this new one that's coming out stay tuned MIP black and white really cool look take a snapshot of that now when we go to our 2d module over here we have those images simple right click and copy and you can um, take these images and copy them to the clipboard and then you can right click paste right into your email so it's simple quick you don't have to do exporting to desktops importing right click copy it take it to your uh, email um, if you want to bring it into a report template for example like for an orthodontist or an oral surgeon right click copy open up your template right click paste you're done simple easy so this is Romexis um, how to create a pseudo pan from a 3D image hopefully this helped you and enjoy Romexis